So I have just put Bast back in the deck. Oh, I have to say it was actually very nice to have Bast be the energy that was holding space or arching over us for the past couple of weeks. I certainly did feel that energy. So let's see what we're moving into next. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Met. You know, have a nice purry, purry cat and then have a not so purry, purry cat. So let me just um, get her on here so we can have her sec met. It's interesting because I was going to be meditating with her in a different Lights as well. Um, I think this is a good one. Then. Hmm. Let me just try. There might be a different one, <clears throat> and that is just a little bit bigger. Oh nope, it's not at all. Oh, that could work. Oh, okay. <laughs> awesome. I found the image we're going to be using. So, all my clicky clicky. Look at this. There she is. So that is exactly the image on the Goddess Oracle card. The only thing it doesn't have is her name, Sekhmet. And the energies that she brings, anger and rage. So it says here, Sekhmet. The lion-headed Egyptian sun goddess is known as the destructive aspect of the sun. Vowing to destroy all humanity in a fit of rage, she went on a killing spree. She was stopped by the intervention of Ra, the high god, who put huge vats of beer mixed with pomegranate juice in her path, mistaking it for human blood. Sekhmet consumed the drink and became intoxicated. When she woke up, her rage was gone. So the red in this painting signifies Sekhmet's scorching, smoldering nature. Sekhmet leaps into your life to help you face your anger. So... <laughs> That's just turning on the um, my unicorn wonder broom. Seems like very peaceful music to open us to connecting with Sekhmet. Just close your eyes and start to focus on your breath. Just listen to the poem of Sekhmet from the Goddess Oracle. I burn and fume and shoot daggers from my eyes. I erupt and roar, though you've not pulled my tail. My edges are sharp and I cut deep. My energy is strong and fierce, and my displeasure needs to be expressed. 
Though sometimes mild, I can be very intense. Once incited, I am difficult to put out. I am always appropriate, always needed. Don't try to get rid of me. I need to be acknowledged and heard. I am anger. So breathe, breathe into that place in your torso, drop your breath into that space that allows for the expansion of your diaphragm, the expansion of your lungs. As you breathe, be aware of any place in your body that you might be holding tension. Breathe into that place and as you exhale, release the tension. And as you breathe into that space within, into that inner landscape, you find yourself at a place within a place of sanctuary. A place where the three realms of land and sea and sky come together. And in this place, bring your awareness to the land that is under the place that you sit or the place that you stand. Do you feel the particular energies of this place where you are, this place that is so familiar or so welcoming or so safe? Allow yourself to feel supported by the energies of earth. <clears throat> And then shift your focus so you become aware of the water in front of you or surrounding you, whether this is a lake or a river or a stream or an ocean. Be aware of this water and how it flows. Hear the sound of the water. It may be shallow, it may be oh so deep. But as much as you connect with the solidity of earth, allow yourself to connect with the movement of water. And then shift your focus once more so you are aware of the expanse of sky that arches above you aware of the element of air 
that is all around you. As you breathe into that connection with sky, allow your perception to expand and in this place where land and sea and sky come together you become aware that there's a shift in the energy around you there's a crackle in the space around you and with your next breath you become aware of the presence of the goddess Sekhmet. And she comes to you in this place, in this place of sanctuary. She comes because there is an important message to impart or energy to explore. And you open yourself to Sekhmet's wisdom and to the reflection of her energy. You allow her to take you where it is that she needs to lead you.
we're so going to slowly, slowly start the journey back. And slowly shift your focus. Bring your awareness back to your breath. And being aware of that ebb and flow of the inhale and the exhale. Find yourself back in your place of sanctuary. And take a moment to be open to any final reflections from Sekhmet. And to take some time to thank her for spending this time. as you bring your awareness more fully back to your breath you watch as the shape of the goddess Sekhmet starts to shimmer it starts to dissipate and you watch as this goddess energy is enfolded back into source and it is you sitting in this place in the place where you are carrying the experience of the connection with Sekhmet in your energy and in yourselves With three deep centric breaths, you start to bring yourself fully back to the here and now. When you're ready, you can open up your eyes. And those who are here live with me, I'm gonna stop the share, but we're still recording. So welcome back everybody. Ooh, that was an interesting progression from Bast to Sekhmet. So as I do in, um, in these meditations, you know, when we did them in person, we would go around and take a moment to share. Um, a little bit of what came up for us, but in uh, in Zoom land goddess meditation, then I usually share a little bit at the end. And it's always interesting, you know, the different things come that come up. Um, so I just want to share just in in a nutshell, because I know I could actually probably take what the experience was and talk about this for a very long time because it seems like this is something which has been coming up quite a bit. You know, this card, Sekhmet, is... Um, I don't know if you can see, it's a bit blurry. But it says anger and rage and certainly coming from that psychotherapeutic bent, you know, recognizing that those are two very different things. And one of the things that I've been talking about a lot and exploring with people a lot um, in the Soul Alchemist Academy Liminal Path. Um, we were just finished a little bit ago um, the course called The Wisdom of the Dark and one of the things that we explore there are the dark emotions or what I've been starting to call the dark emotions and the dark emotions are not the uncomfortable emotions. The dark emotions are the emotions, any emotion that has been embedded with shame and so, you know, bliss 
<laughs> can be a dark emotion if it is this relentless pursuit of bliss in order to because the world has to be good um you know that's it it's coming from this shadow place and so being able to differentiate even within our bodies the difference between anger and rage that anger is the emotion that tells us that a line has been crossed, a boundary has been crossed. Um, and rage is the, the force of, of the powerlessness where that boundary has been crossed again and again and again and again and again and again and again. And, again. and, and so it's the anger has lost its message to the shame of powerlessness. And I was, I mean, knowing that sort of in my therapist brain, but I was looking at this image of Sekhmet and how she has the cobra, the cobra on her head, which is very interesting to me because I've actually been working with, so that's, uh, Mertzeger, I believe, is how you say it. The cobra goddess. And you have to go that when you do the cobra goddess. By the way. <laughs> and um, and she she's the uh, the guardian, the protector of the necropolis, of the the place of the dead, the place of the dark, of the shadow which can be a place of sanctuary and she is said to be um, both merciless like if you step out of line she's like that's it but she also has if you if you treat places relationships people with respect then she is um, she holds that sanctuary space and so it's interesting to me that that she's on Sekhmet's head and that that you know that discernment to be able to say like no means no you know a line is a line but if there's disrespect that's brought into it then it's like that cobra is like poof, striking and the rage can come out so Really being aware of the difference of those in the body is one of the things that um, really came through because I looked at Sekhmet, I looked at her face and she's not raging. There's an empowerment, there's, there's a, a, a dignity and a grace and just that presence. And that's what anger can give us. Like this is this deserves respect. So there was that whole part of it. I feel like there was something else. Hmm. There was, but I think it's gone. So just that um, the vitality that can come within when we listen to our anger, our healthy anger. Um, rage, it's not helpful. Oh, I remember what it was. Rage is not helpful to be expressed out in the world. That's where it's that out of control. But when rage shows up, it's telling us that we have disconnected from that empowerment within and, and we need to heal that. We need to weave that back together in order to be able to come forward with anger, healthy anger. But the other thing is, I feel like I'm going on and on. The other thing was I probed to see where I could feel the rage inside, where are those places of rage. And though I, I mean, it's, not even been, I'd say, two weeks ago that, you know, something came up, but, um, you know, processed through. It wasn't live in there anymore. 
But as I was doing that probing, it was a very, very interesting experience where all of a sudden I recognized that just how profoundly we are, each and every one of us, a reflection of the divine. You know, that we are, alchemically speaking, we are all a part of the all. We truly are. And so if I probe within here and I feel that rage, then that rage that I feel inside is a part of what I am bringing to the all. And so it's, I'm almost wanting to say a gift to myself and the all to, to look at that, to listen to that, to release that. You know, the more that I can move into that healthy, empowered, boundaried way of being in myself, that's an energy I feel in myself. That is an energy that I bring to relationships. And that's an energy that I bring to the world. And, and that shifts things. So it was just sort of that awareness of a greater interconnection and perhaps that's that reflection of the sun and that the cobra of sovereignty <laughs> sitting on the head so with that with a little bit of lion with a little bit of cobra I'm going to thank everybody in zoom land who is joining for this goddess meditation goddess Sekhmet for coming to this space today and for sharing with us the wisdom of healthy anger and the Im invitation to release the shame and the pain that may have the power to move us into the rage and to transform it back into that healthy anger so Bye, everybody in Zoom land.